Ali Faraj here for FCR, for FCR 20, hometown hero Millie Erickson making her pro debut. Millie, how does it feel winning your first pro bout? Oh, it feels great. It feels amazing. It's like a dream coming true and also here like in my hometown, it feels magical. Yeah. And your, your performance was magical as well. All kinds of uh, punches, uh, elbows, uh, knees to the head, everything. It had everything. You sort of got the impression that you were fighting this fight sort of as a marathon, taking on the more experienced fighter. Is there any truth to that? Yeah, you know, uh, from Westeros Fight Club, my, it, that's my home club, and we don't take any easy fights. And I think me as a fighter also like prefer that because I always perform a lot better. But uh, we're gonna continue this train. We don't get any uh, like. No, we, we always get like the hard opponent, so that's what's coming next as well. He certainly was a hard opponent, has fought the who's who in, in women's MMA. Of course, Misha Tate, Ashling Daly, Lucy Pudilova. And coming into this fight, what was the plan? The plan was to keep it standing, striking, using my elbows, knees, and like very nasty striking, straight punches. And I think that went through. I think that was it. Yeah. I need to watch the fight again, but I think that was it, yeah. yeah. It certainly did, did the job. And of course, basically what dominating the entire fight. Is sometimes she got you up into the cage and you could hear yeah. the corner. Of course, they were pretty frustrated with the yeah. situation. Yeah. Was she strong against the cage? Yeah, she was strong. And I, I think I also get, got like, I used it like a, a rest pause to like think about the next step. But she didn't do any damage. So I was pretty calm there. If she had like, if I felt the strength of her was like a threat, I would have done something. But I felt just she was keep pushing me and I know she was getting tired by that. So, yeah, I, I, I think I won the three routes, right? <laughs> Need to watch it again. Yeah, yeah of course. No, you did an ex excellent job, of course, and certainly in your pro debut. And this is not the first Finnish fighter you fought. No. Of course, you fought one of the best Finnish fighters in the amateur leagues, Sunny Brenforce. Yes. And perhaps maybe in the future, we could see a potential pro fight between you guys. What do you think about yeah. that? Yeah, I would be in for it. It's just about Sunny and what weight class you're going to do uh, as a pro. But I'm in for it. So Sunny, maybe it, it would be good to do a third one. Yeah. So fighting in your hometown, of course, FCR bringing their biggest event, of course, to your hometown. How was the crowd? How did you take it in? You, you were a bit emotional after the fight. Yeah, I, I've been emotional all this trip because I have so much nice people around me uh, that's helping me all the way. Uh, but uh, it was special. I heard a crowd and I was like taking it all in and I felt I really felt like home when I was standing in the cage. I was like, this is what I do every day. So it was it was cool. It was magical. And of course, the crowd responded to you. And of course, the yeah. entrance song was brilliant. <laughs> uh, coming into um, and Lil Wayne's Amelie, yeah. brilliant choice of song. Uh, any message for the fans watching at home or future opponents, perhaps? Uh, for the fans, I really appreciate you. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Uh, and uh, for the future opponents, just be ready because I'm, gonna, I'm getting better and I'm going to go back to training pretty soon as well. So just be ready. All the uh, flyweights out there. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Oli Farai here with winner and new and 1-0 and as a pro, undefeated, Millie Eriksson for FCR.